How's it going everybody? I hope you're having an excellent day. Today we are 688 in the world in the builder base. Gonna be jumping into some live attacks, taking out some of these bases. Already on to the first base and wouldn't you know we have an air expo being upgraded. Let's go in with my favorite strategy to use against this base, which is the cannon carts, baby dragons, and battle copter. So you want their battle copter to take out the arch tower that's furthest away from the expo. So technically, on this base, it would be the left-hand side. But since that air expo is upgrading, our battle copter might be able to take out the arch tower and the giant cannon, which would be superb. We'll have our cannon cart down south. Start working on the storages. Then cannon cart clearing out some of the trash buildings in front of the other arch tower. Typically there is a lava launcher on this base, so usually we send in two baby dragons to take that one out, but in this case there's the lava launcher, or the uh, multi-mortar is the one that is used on this base, so send in one baby dragon, take out that arch tower, get some nice splash damage, we can move in number four a little bit closer, find a couple of the Teslas, which is nice, can use... Let's see here. Can we use two minions on the uh, other one? Move in that one real quick. Um, let's use another baby dragon on this multi-mortar. Take out that whole section so we can move in this cannon cart. A little closer. And yes, our battle copter will be able to take out the giant cannon. That is perfect. Now we'll move around number four and number five here. And I'm waiting to see where the uh, where the battle copter goes. Okay, now that it is distracting, we can send in a minion to take out the archer tower, and we can finish off the base quite nicely with the cannon carts. It's a little bit of a different variation of that base. I think people like the, the base layout, but they're probably getting hit too many times by the same strategy, so they're trying to mix things up. This person's case, I don't think you can really protect from the Battlecopter without that air expo. So now we're on to the second stage here, a little bit of a different layout, which is kind of cool. We can use some of the cannon cards here. Try to take out the edges of this base. Use a couple of the minions, take out the corner buildings. Then the goal will be to take out the lava launcher. So we can move in number five. Try to take out that cannon. And we're trying to take out as many ground targeting defenses as possible so that our battle machine get insane value. Oh, I guess we took out the, uh, the archer with, I think, a minion, perhaps. So we only have to worry about the barbarian from the guard post troops, so we'll take that one out real quick. Ooh, we did get in range of the lava launcher, so we'll send in both of our baby dragons, use the breath abilities to take that one out, and we might be able to move. Okay, we did save number six. Perfect. So number five here, we'll start working on the outpost. Number six is working on the cannon. And then I believe, no other corner buildings? Perfect. So, send in the other minion. And we don't even need our battle machine. Because the zappies, the auto outpost was the last building. So. Hmm. We have found an opponent. So let's see what we can use. Two baby dragons for the lava launcher compartment. Perfect. Battle copter to take out this right hand archer tower. Hmm. hmm. Actually, we'll have to use three baby dragons. And we'll have to send in the battle copter directly into the air expo just 
by the way these defenses are positioned that the air expo is protecting both the arch tower and the giant cannon so there's no real way for us to take them out with any of the minions unfortunately so we'll have to have our baby dragon just sort of bounce around up top shouldn't be too big of a deal I'm watching number six here Okay, and that goes for the clock tower. Perfect. And what do we got? We got some splash onto the lava launcher. Just perfect. Then we will take that one. Oh, just barely and not out. Oh, that's right. It's one more tile behind the the uh, the building there, which is fine. So what we're gonna do here is send the baby dragon splash both of the defenses that we want to take out and our battlecopter should be able to finish off the other defenses and then it should splash and take out the lava launcher number four we'll have to 1v1 the arch tower which is fine actually will you send in the uh, battlecopter so it's distracting Ooh, there was a giant bomb there, so yeah, that number four can cart would not have been able to 1v1 the arch tower. Little bit sneaky there. Ooh, number six, where are you going? What are you doing? Oh, number five wants to go through the wall? Okay, well. Oh, we got splash onto the crusher. That is perfect. Perfect. Everything is going down. We'll hold off moving the cannon carts any further in case there are other giant bombs. So we had a successful first hit where we have three cannon carts going into the second stage. So we can be quite, quite forgiving with these cannon carts and have them go for very specific parts of the base. I think we send in one cannon cart to the south side and two on this top side for the auto outpost. So I just need to watch number four here for a little bit. Wanted to take out the crusher and the actually I think the five and six might be able to get some splash onto the Zappius. Perhaps, perhaps not. I've seen it work a couple times. Yeah, two cannon carts at full health can take out all the zappies, so you don't have to worry about those. Then I think we send in the two baby dragons, probably just to damage up these uh, ground targeting defenses up top. Moving five and six, take out that other cannon. Once that cannon goes down, we will be able to send in our machine from up top distract oh we found a Tesla Ooh, and a bomb all right so we do lose that that cannon cart which might become a problem Let's see here we'll have one cannon cart go for a walk Ooh, it's directly targeting the multi mortar which is beautiful number six I need you to cruise around the other side of the base the other side of the base. Okay, it is going to the other side. We need to take out that Tesla and that guard post. We use the battle machine ability. Get some chains. And we got one chain. Okay, it's through the wall. Perfect. And oh my gosh, we have another corner building. How did I forget? How did I forget? Battle machine, go! Run! You can do it! Four, three, two, one! Wow, we didn't even get a hit off. It was the cannon carts that saved the day. Crazy. So we'll do one more attack. Ooh, right into it. Very nice. Up against Robinson. No clan. Huh. Crazy. So what do we see here? Another kind of unique layout. Uh, I see this battlecopter could probably take out the arch tower and the giant cannon. So... And we've got two other exposed archer towers, not protected by the air expo. So we can send in some minions. I like it. Let's let the battlecopter go in far. Let it charge up. Let these 
Cannon carts clear out the other buildings in front of the arch towers. Should be doing good here. Could, could definitely send in the minions down south a lot sooner. Once this elixir collector goes down, and then probably have to send in. Let's see, maybe baby dragons. Probably one onto the arch tower, and then one potentially onto the. Ooh, okay, we got a weird directional splash. So we will have to directly target the. Uh, The Love Launcher, which will be a little bit tricky, but it is possible. Not my most favorite thing to do. But we are getting some good splash damage. Um, let's use the minions here to assist. Oh, we need one more to take out the Lava Launcher. Move six on mobile, five on mobile. No more ground targeting defenses, so our cannon carts are safe. It's just a matter of can we get to the last firecracker. No corner buildings. Take out the air expo. Beautiful. Five and six would like to bust through the walls. That is their prerogative, so we'll let them just shoot the walls while number four knows what they're actually doing and goes for the firecracker by just walking around the base. Gotta love those smart cannon carts. Alright, so we've got a very, well, I'd say not common, but it's a similar setup where there's just a lot of value that we can get on this left-hand side. We can take out both the multi-mortar, the cannon, and the double cannon pretty much with two breath abilities. So, we can send in cannon carts on the other sides of the base. We'll send two here to take out the zappies that will be popping out pretty soon and then we'll do let's see here let's do the first baby dragon over here maybe the second baby dragon up top let's see if we can get the, uh, the archer in this crossfire here beautiful and we'll do that one too Oh, and I wasn't even watching. Five and six, they took out the, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Zappies. All right, so we'll use the battle machine up top. And number four here can take out the Crusher. A little bit closer, but this double cannon is like one hit point away from death. So I'm not too worried about it. One hit from the cannon cart or one chain from the battle machine will be able to take it out. So number four is cruising along. I think we'll get the third star ability from the battle machine. One more. Okay, yeah, we got the third hit. Nice. And then the chains. Bing bong. Very nice. Six star attack. So let's take a look. So that, that was three in a row. Very nice. All right. So on the defenses. Oh, nice. A four, a five, and then, then a two star. So we are now up to number 370 in the world. So, gain a little bit of trophies there in that session. So, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. There's a couple of videos on the screen if you want to keep on watching. Until next time, take care.